Hey everyone, what's up? It is Annie and today I have an unboxing and setup video for you guys. I wanted to go for a top-down angle because I've always wanted to do one for fingerboarding. I just think they look so slick. So as you can see, this is a Beast Pants unboxing and of course the first thing that I did was just dump everything out and look at the stickers. And I absolutely love this new colorway that Chris is doing. Really, really nice muted tones and colors. So the first deck that I reached for was the Baby Beast, and I actually didn't order this deck. I mentioned to Chris that I've always wanted a Baby Beast board, and he decided to throw one in for free. So I obviously didn't know what graphic he was going to send, but I really love the one that he selected because it reminds me of this one, which he had also sent as a gift previously. Only the text is a different color and the purple on the inside is slightly different as well. If you don't know what the Baby Beast is, it's basically a smaller version of a regular fingerboard and it is comically small. But yeah, thank you so much to Chris for sending this for free. I will eventually set that up because it looks like so much fun. For the deck that I did buy, it's a feral board as you can see, and it is the Howling Cat graphic, which I have wanted ever since I first saw it on the Beast Pants website. This is my favorite graphic from Beast Pants, without a doubt. Aside from the unicorn one, maybe it's a bit of a tie, but this is an absolute classic and I love it so, so much. One thing I immediately observed, which I didn't know prior to seeing this in real life, was that the graphic is actually kind of a partial graphic. So the blue that you're seeing underneath the cat is actually the bottom ply. The top ply is beautiful as always and somewhat matches the bottom ply too. I really love the little engraving details of the F on the top for Feral and obviously the Beast Pants logo in the middle. Today I'll be setting this board up with some china trucks, cartwheels, and some FBC black velvet. For tools, I always use a Swiss Army knife, the screwdriver that I found at home, and the Y trucks tool. I'll explain why specifically the Y trucks tool in a bit. When it comes to filing down my grip, I find that the best way to do it is to use a sharp blade. I know a lot of people like to use files and I used to use a file but I find that the cleanest grip job I can get is with a blade. One thing I forgot to mention is I use masking tape to clean up my grip job, but also helps you break in the grip a little bit easier. It works a lot better than duct tape because duct tape sometimes just takes off a whole chunk of your grip and sellotape doesn't really do much and you can't really reuse the same sheet twice. I use the wire truck tool to poke the holes through my grip because I find it does much cleaner of a job than a regular tech deck tool or even my screwdriver. This time for trucks, I decided to go for some G3 trucks from Fingerboard Connoisseur. These are China trucks, but I've not had a problem with China trucks in the past few times that I've used them thus far. I know they have a bad rep because they're cheaper and obviously they don't last as long, but in terms of performance, I'm totally okay with them. To go with these trucks, I have some backer bushings from Sponsor Me Tape. For this setup, I'll be using some purple cartwheels. These are the classic shape. 
As you guys know, cartwheels are my favorite wheels, period. And I thought the purple really fit the Beast Pants aesthetic as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this new angle and this new style of unboxing. In the future, what I might do is do something like this, only I won't do a voiceover since you guys kind of know what I write now. Very mildly edited. So yeah, let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in. Obviously, if you haven't already checked out Beast Pants, which I highly doubt you haven't, definitely go check them out at Beast Pants on Instagram. Thank you so much again to Chris for sending the baby beast as a gift. I really, really appreciate it. It's so cute. I also wanted to give a huge shout out to my friend eggs.fb on Instagram and on YouTube. I've been watching his videos lately and they inspired me to go the full way with the top down video. His videos aren't the full top down, but I thought I'd just take it to the extra mile and do that. So yeah, thank you so much to eggs.fb. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed making it, and I'll see you in the next video.